Oh, I'm so stressed. Oh, I have no time. Don't we hear this all over the place? And somehow to me, it even seems that it's like a quality stamp. Oh, this person is so stressed. By the way, it's true for men and women equally. Oh, this person is so stressed. Oh, they must be so hardworking, so committed. Oh, they are so diligent. Oh, they are going over their limits, etc., etc. You know what I mean, right? Nothing could be further from the truth, by the way, but this is another huge topic we won't address here today. Today, we will have a closer look together to what is stress-related, especially in our daily life and especially in our busy daily life. When things are really getting harder, more hectic, and you don't know what to do first. And I will give you the perspective that's possible, that it's possible for you, that even in the most hectic moments, you can balance your stress level and calm yourself down. And of course it needs some training, but it's possible. So. I will first shine a light on what is stress-related and please stay until the end because I will mention some aspects you perhaps never ever put together or related it or brought it together with stress. Never thought about that it could be stress-related. Anyhow, before we start, I have three questions for you so that you quickly can check in where is your where you at with your stress level right now not yesterday not a minute ago not tomorrow right now so question number 1 on a scale from 0 to 10 0 the lowest 10 the highest how would you rate your recent, your here and now stress level. Zero, totally relaxed, calm, balanced, 10 over the moon with stress. Just shortly, don't think about it, feel it and then decide between zero and 10. You have your number? Okay, let's move on to question number two. How do you sleep? Meaning, is it easy for you to fall asleep? Do you sleep the whole night through or you wake up several times? And if you wake up, which is by the way quite normal that we wake up once during a night, nothing bad with it, but the fact is how fast you can get back at sleep easy without any do doing breathing techniques or something like this. So first of all, how you sleep overall? Are you sleeping through? Are you waking up? Uh, do you have the feeling that you have a quiet, relaxed sleep? So get a feeling, be aware of the quality of your sleep. And question number three, also related to sleep, how you wake up in the morning. Are you waking up refreshed? I think, oh my God, I don't want to get up. Oh, what night, oh my goodness. Oh, my body feels so tense and heavy and oh, up to sore. Or saying, oh, hello day, here I am, eager to start my day, or something in between. So you have the answers for the three questions. So whenever 
you are more at the edge of having a higher rate on the scale so over seven let's say when you don't have a overall relaxed sleep and most of all when you don't wake up refreshed and rejuvenated that's one quite a clear hint that your stress level is quite high and that your body can't even balance it out overnight. So keep this in mind. Nothing is fixed. You can change everything you want, but it's always good to know where you are right now. All right. First, you know me. Knowledge is power. We start a little bit looking at stress. Stress by itself is not bad. We need a certain kind of stress to function because every impulse we are getting from the outside, from the environment, but also from the inside, from our body, is a kind of stress. You can name it as stress. So stress can be a catalyst for growth, for evolving and growing. But with, like with everything, Paracelsus said it already, it's the dose that makes a substance a poison. And same is true for stress. So it's not about, oh, bad stress. No, 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 no. It's all about balance, flexibility, or this up-to-date word resilience, flexibility. And to be flexible in our life, one crucial part of our body, we need to be balanced and this is our autonomous nervous system. This is basically said the system which has two parts, the one, the sympathetic nervous system, who is more for action, and the parasympathetic nervous system for the relaxation. And when one or the other is too high or too low, we are out of balance. It's a constant, like a dance. And then we are healthy and then we are striving but mostly we are not in our so-called normal life. In our so-called normal life, many people are what I call a constant survival mode, meaning a constant high stress level. And sadly enough, and this is a pity, that it seems to be so normal that people often don't realize it anymore because so many people around them are doing it. So it's truly normal. It's normal to have hypertension in the muscles, clinging like this, ringing in the ear. Bah! And I'm often so shocked when young people are coming to me and telling me, oh, this is normal to have back pain. It's normal to have this, that, that, and the medication in their pocket against pain. They're painkillers. They use it often on a daily basis. Young people. And these are all stress-related reactions from our body. Don't want to go into physiology and neurophysiology too much. But for example, so often people come to me and say, Zafia, you know what? And it may be osteopathy clients or coaching clients. You know, I have a holistic coaching, so somehow it's always the same with me, right? If they say, Oh, I'm so tense and I'm getting massages and I'm doing my stretching, etc., etc. But nothing works. So, okay, clear sign 
that your autonomous nervous system is so much out of balance that it can't let go anymore. Perhaps some of you had this as well. So we have the signs of our body that we are out of balance. And I always tell people, please watch the signs before you totally crash, before you go into a burnout. Because burnout and lethargy is the other end of the stick of this hyper, 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 but somehow it's exactly the same. Just, yeah, the other end of the stick, but from the same stick. So we have our physical signs. But what you perhaps did not know is that it affects how we see the world. And this is so important for any kind of social interaction in our relationships, in our families, but also at work. Because when we are in this constant survival mode, our brain tells us, oh my God, there is danger, there is threat out there. Help, help, help. We have to, to defend ourselves. And then it gets this defense mechanism takes over and you see and feel everything outside around you as a threat. Even it isn't a threat, but you perceive it as such. Did you know this? And now you can play the game. Oh my goodness, if I see my partner, my kids, my friend, the whole environment, the guy driving next to me, my colleague, my boss, my business partner, when my brain tells me, oh, these are old threats, be aware. We close up. We close up. And you know what? When we close up, we don't only close up our hearts and our emotions, also parts of our brain. Here, the frontal brain. And then people are wondering why people don't have, find solutions anymore in their lives why they can't communicate properly because this part of the brain is shut down when it's at the extreme. So how can you build up, for example, a successful thriving team when every team member is so under stress that they just can't function this way? This is what I'm telling all the people I have as my clients um, who are in leadership positions. And you know what they often don't know. And I say, you have to create the environment where people can thrive. But you as well, you can do a lot. You as many other clients of mine and people I know over the decades, including myself, I always say, I live what I, what I teach, it's all lived experience. You can learn it. You truly can learn it. And first, when people are coming to me saying, oh, I can't meditate, I can't do any kind of exercises when I'm at work. Yeah. How about you could meditate at work without even someone noticing it? How about you could do some exercises. Your colleagues would become curious. Like, what are you doing there? And then joining you and the whole team is functioning better and having fun with little things. And with some exercise and training, it won't take more than three minutes. 
three minutes. And here comes in because a lot of people say, oh, I don't have the time. And this is the point where I have to breathe deeply. Breathing in, breathing out. By the way, a very good relaxation technique. Not to shout at them, don't tell me. Okay, I perhaps it's better when I then breathe another time or twice. So I can patiently ask them, do you know how much time you spend on your phone? Do you know how much time you spend in front of the TV? Huh? And do you know how much time you spend worrying about things? And then please don't tell me that you don't have 10 to 15 minutes a day. You calculated yourself how much it is, 15 minutes of 24 hours of a day. And then if still someone tries to argue with you, say, oh, go somewhere else. And it's possible. And it gives you the tool that even, or the tools, there are different approaches, so nothing fits everyone, right? So you can train it, you can have tools that even in the most hectic environment, you can calm down in three minutes or less, and then gaining clarity again, finding solution, solutions, up to saving lives. I had people who said, oh, you know what? I came to a car accident and normally I would have freaked out seeing all these wound, wounded people. And I did your technique and I had the complete overview over the whole situation without being a doctor or having any medical knowledge said, okay, and I was there, I was directing the people. And so we had a perfect setup and then the doctors came and everything was great. So you can apply it for everything in your life. But of course you have to train it. So if you are interested to learn some of these techniques, please comment below because if the request is here, I will do one or two or three videos for you so that you can use these techniques for yourself train yourself. It's so easy that perhaps you may laugh at it, say, oh, it's way too easy. But I tell you the really good things in life and very effective things in life are easy. Life is totally easy and simple. Humans tend to make it very complicated. So yeah, let me know if you are interested, then I will do it. And last but not least, and I know it's a little bit longer, this video, but it's such an important topic. And it's a topic we encounter on a daily basis, me included. Yeah. And to make our life easier and healthier. And here is the last very important message for today, for you today. Listen carefully, please. We as humans are not different parts. We don't have our body and then we have our emotions and our thoughts. It's all one. And to be healthy, to stay healthy, to become healthier, it's always Important, yes, it is important to see yourself as an entity. And okay, our body is a reflection of a lot and helps us a lot. But if you don't heal your emotions or balance out your emotions, your thoughts, your um, assumptions, your everything, you won't be really healthy and wealthy. It's like a big puzzle piece 
and if you take one piece the picture isn't complete. This is why I have these three parts here. This more health oriented Friday videos and I'm so happy that so many people are so it seems to uh, find interest in so many people and I congratulate you that you are taking good care of yourself and you want to learn more about health and healthy lifestyle and I seldom rarely make promises but if you follow this path of expanding your overall health, healthy emotion, healthy behavior, healthy thoughts, healthy spirituality etc etc you will experience miracles in your life and it will affect everything in your life including your bank account everything so please never ever forget you are one a whole entity a beautiful unique human being and I'm here to support you and whenever you want to dive even deeper please feel free to book in for a free call and we find out if there I can do also something for you so be happy well and blessed as always see you next time Sunday there will be some hints and tips five steps how to maneuver to change through transition processes easily be well see you next time